What a magical Monday. Teachers are running about in costumes. And the smell of new books permeate the, hall the hallways with the arrival of the book fair. Don't change that channel. We'll be right back. It's Monday, February 24th, 2014. This is Chris Fletcher. And Emma Cruz. It's National Tortilla Chip Day. Nachos, anyone? Mmm, nachos. Moving on, teachers, please, con please check to see who is showing respect by not talking when you are. It's somewhat difficult for teachers to do their jobs if we're running our mouths. So reward students who are showing respect with three Mars stamps. To elaborate on this Mars behavior, Remember, you have to listen to learn. It's the responsible thing to do. Now on some reminders. After school detention has been going on strong. Hopefully people are figuring out that the administration means business. Be sure to attend if you have been assigned to one. But it's much easier to just avoid being assigned to ASD. You can do this by getting to class on time as well as avoiding level one referrals. Doing your homework. Reading our books and earn, and earn points on them. And completing objectives, accelerated math objectives. Doing these will, will keep you out of detention since tutoring or athletic practice does not. Now be warned that if you skip ASD, there are consequences. The first time you will get salary school. And those who thought that they would be clever and decide not to go to Saturday school, did get a stay out of school suspension. So, to summarize, get to cl class on time, do well in your class, and you won't suffer any negative consequences. In other words, it's just much easier to do responsible and do what you need to do. Such as gaining your required A points per quarter and getting your accelerated math objectives done. Quit wasting time in class. But before we move on from the topic of Saturday school, we have a reminder. There is likely to be one this weekend. And transportation will be provided for bus riders. Saturday school runs from 9 a.m. until noon. Snacks are provided. And any poor behavior will just result in getting another day in Saturday school. So just display proper behavior throughout your day. The types of behaviors that may earn you a positive note home. Be sure to get those in for the prize drawing each Friday. And that's all we have for administrative reminders for the day. This has been Hema Cruz. And Chris Fletcher announcements are up next. Welcome back, everyone. I'm Ken Zapino. And I'm Diana Hernandez here with the morning announcements. Be sure to pre-order a yearbook as soon as possible. Time is running out. If you don't get one ahead of time, you'll likely not get one at all. We're looking at 40 pages of memories for the 2013-2014 school year. Do not pass on this opportunity. Yearbooks are still at only $20. Now on to the subject of dances. We have a reminder for 6th grade. There will be a spring dance after TCAP testing and before spring break. 6th graders will not be allowed to attend if they have two or more level 1 referrals in the system as of last month. Watch yourself, people. And please continue to bring in box tops to support the PTA. Our PTA works extremely hard to do cool stuff for us. Also, don't forget they sell snacks after school on Mondays, Wednesdays, and Fridays. The book fair goes on next week from the 24th to the 28th. There will be a video of Miss Webster and Mr. Sarah jumping into Prospect Lake in the middle of a snowstorm if we meet the sales goal. And we have a Clifford costume, hoping that students and teachers will take turns, <laughs> take turns, uh, take turns wearing the costume before or after <laughs> school during lunch. Also, teachers will be dressed as their favorite book characters during the week. And students are invited to join on the 28th. There is no cost. You just need to fill out a name tag that will be provided by your first hour teachers. The tag will have your character's name and the title of the book they are from. The library will be closed 
that we sell Planet Hunt on UAR books. Don't forget that you need to pay attention to the Word of the Week segments. These are simple ways of remembering how to approach certain test words. Plus, there will be a red ticket handout to those that are particularly good at explaining the words. So keep on the lookout so you can be eligible for prizes. That's it for now. Stay tuned for the next installment of the Word of the Week. This week is analyzed. This has been Candice Pino. And Diana Hernandez. And clubs and activities will follow that. <laughs> nice of you to finally wake up. Who are you? My name doesn't matter right now. All that matters is that Dr. Clayton got me too. Did everybody make it? Yeah, that makes everybody. That makes everybody. And we even have all of our limbs. We got a formulated plan. Well, it seems quite... Shush, 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 shush. Oh, I got a plan. Let's see if they unlock these doors real fast. <laughs> Hey guys, all we really need to up, 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 I got a plan. Oh boy. Ah! Uh, ow! That hurts! Okay. Um, um, well, <laughs> you know, guys, you don't have up, to. Up, 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 I got TNT, we gonna light it and blow it up. They left us in a room filled with dynamite? That's just. I know, right? <laughs> <laughs> That was a bus. <laughs> Alright guys. Right, guys, huddle up. Alright guys, what are we going to be doing? No we can idea. use the rice as a thing again. No, we already we did it. Use that. We already did that. Wait. No idea what, what we're going to do. Use? How about we just oh, use the two I got the it. I got it. I got it. We need bubble gum. And, and some Pepsi. Fizzy bombs. What are we going to do with And those? some Pepsi. What? Bam. We can make, uh, what's it called? Fizzy bombs. Yeah. Oh yeah. But we already used TNT. So, fizzy bombs are better. Oh, do you smell it? I smell sixth graders! <laughs> This is Kayla Fowler. And I'm Gabriel Peterson here with Clubs and Events. Computer Club picked back up in the Cyber Cafe on Tuesday. And Drama Club will be meeting in the studio right after school tonight to film Word of the Week. Sixth and eighth graders provide your me medal, prove your medal by joining the Warriors of Battle, Battle of the Books, in room 147. Or join pre-engineering club with Mr. Anderson. Then on Thursday, you can join environmental club in room 120 and help save your planet. As for the orchestra club, you guys should be back on track that same day. Seventh grade Battle of the Books is now meeting every Thursday at lunch in room 141. Stop by to pick up your pass. Just FYI, those of you joined in yearbook have nowhere to go. It's been canceled for the week. Wah, wah, wah. Sorry, guys. And, of course, there is also Scratch with Miss Audison and her programming experts. And on Friday, National Junior Honor, Re Honor Society will be meeting in room 143. Finally, don't forget that the activity bus is available for all after-school activities. This has been Gabriel Peterson and Kayla Fowler. Also, don't forget to pay attention to the afternoon announcements for any cancellations. Sports is up next. 
Hello, students! Welcome to the JSAA Library. I'm Clifford. As you can see, we're busy setting up for the Scholastic Book Fair. Be sure to come visit us next week from the 24th through the 28th. You'd be a fool not to come by one of these awesome books! And speaking of awesome books, we're going to tell you about another one right now. This is Hidden, like Ed Frank. 14 True Stories of Survival by Marcel Priz and Peter Hank Stenhouse. Hiding is not a game when you are trying to survive. And during World War II, more people died than survived. In Holland, thousands of Jews sought refuge in the homes and farms of non-Jews. There was a network to help people find places to hide. Sometimes you only stayed with the family for a week and then moved, because the danger was too great for everyone involved. Close your eyes and imagine making yourself small enough to hide in a two-foot space at the bottom of a closet or attic. This was a reality for the author's parents, who were among the 14 lucky children who survived to share their stories in this book. But as you read about their horrific experiences, you'll see that, at the time, they felt far from lucky. Good morning, JSAA. I'm Angie. And I'm Darius with K-Rocket Sports. We got one or two things going on. The boys' basketball season continues with tournaments going on this week. We are the Mighty Mighty and Titans. And on Thursdays, be sure to support our soccer team at Wasson. In our left news, the U.S. Mo has moved up in the medal count. As of Friday, we are in second with eight gold medals, right after Norway's ten. And that is it for JSAA Sports, but before we go, we have the joke of the day. Oh, here we go again. In which school do you learn to make ice cream? Sunday school. And now I want a Sunday. Well, that's all for now. This has been Darius. And Angie, before we go, we could everybody please rise for the pledge? I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all.